Hello Scorpio, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the next seven days and it's a timeless reading so it is intended for whenever you are watching. Scorpio, thanks so much for being here. We're getting started with the Wisdom of Tao Oracle cards. I'm going to draw one from here for you. All right, what does Scorpio need to know? You've got walk away. Okay, I hope that's in focus. Walk away. All right, I'm going to set this here to reflect on during the tarot part of the reading, and then I will read deeper into that a little bit later on. For the tarot, I'm starting with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. This is going to be a four-card reading, Scorpio, Situation, Challenges, Advice, and Outcome. Okay, so this is for the next week from whenever you are watching. And Scorpio, remember to check your other signs as well so you can get a complete picture. All right, so your current situation or most important situation this week is being represented by the Page of Water or the Page of Cups in the traditional tarot. Very nice, this is your element, Scorpio. Nice, okay. For your challenge position, we have the Three of Earth or the Three of Pentacles, okay. Beautiful, I like that. I love that card actually. And for your advice position, we have the Seven of Air or the Seven of Swords. All right, and for your outcome position, we have the Page of Fire or the Page of Wands in the traditional tarot. All right, very interesting, Scorpio. I'm gonna go in and clarify with the Everyday Witch Tarot. And just so you know, all of these decks have been pre-shuffled and I have already prayed and meditated on this space for your reading. All right, what does Scorpio need to know? We are clarifying the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Wands, okay? So clarifying the Page of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords, Clarifying the Three of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. All right. Clarifying the Seven of Swords. Oh, we have Justice. I love that in combination with that card. And clarifying the Page of Fire or the Page of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Very nice. So if you see me turning cards around, I do read upright. So any message that, messages that are meant to come out will I read intuitively, okay? So starting off with your most important situation this week, Scorpio with the Page of Cups. It says sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody, messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitations or events, and heightened psychic abilities, okay? So here are all those beautiful things, right? And the card pairing it is the Ten of Swords. So this is telling me that you're at the end of a really, really difficult cycle where maybe um, someone has treated you unfairly, um, maybe someone broke up with you, maybe somebody was disloyal to you, but you're at the end of that awful energy where you, of betrayal, like where you feel like you've been betrayed, like we see here in the Ten of Swords. You're moving on from that. The sun is coming up, as you see in that card, and the Page of Cups energy is coming in, okay? So, of course, don't jump for a rebound-type relationship or anything like that, but just know that the end of difficulty is here. You're at the end of the cycle, okay? So some more rest and recovery may be necessary, but the pain is done, okay? The pain is done, Scorpio, and there's this more beautiful, flowy, um, emotionally stable um, cheerful energy coming in for you, okay? Um, I think that as this difficult cycle is ending, you're realizing that your psychic abilities, your intuition is becoming more intense. So use that, okay? Use that for good. Um, use good judgment when you're choosing whether or not to invite someone new into your life or someone old. It could be a friend, it could be a boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, whatever. Um, use your intuition, okay? And if you start to feel like you're straying from that, bring yourself back to center before you allow any other energies in. Okay, Scorpio, I like how you're at the end of a really difficult, painful cycle. And um, that Ten of Swords card can be really intense. Um, I feel like many of you listening um, have felt very wronged, but you know what? You're better off now. You're at the end of this, and anyone who's harmed you will be taken care of, okay? Like, God will take care of that. You don't need to worry about that. 
okay? You just move on with your life and be grateful that you have a clean slate now, Scorpio. Okay, and speaking of a clean slate, in your challenge, challenge position, we have the Three of Pentacles, which I really love. It says, do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. Being paid well for your craft working well with others and an excellent reputation, okay? So don't, don't ever worry about what someone else might say about you, okay? And I'm getting a really good pair here with the Two of Cups. It could be a romantic bond. Um, it could be, I mean, we're getting that with the Page of Cups as well, but there could be a good business connection here where you're working really well with others or, or one other person doing something creative and it makes you feel better, it makes you feel more grounded and it makes you feel more like you, Scorpio. I'm getting that, um, some of you are into the arts, okay, um, like acting maybe, um, performing in some way, singing, singing, maybe you're in a band, um, maybe you're in plays or something like that, and getting back to that is going to make you feel so good, and being around a good friend who does the same thing that you do, reconnecting in that way, and getting out of um, that painful energy, but you definitely are at the end of that cycle, Scorpio, and I like that. Okay, so for the advice position, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so be careful um, to not let anybody get away with pulling the wool over your eyes. Okay, it says a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself and embarrassing secrets. Okay, so this could pertain to... Um, all any of you listening right now in different ways okay remember this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave what doesn't we have the justice card coming in here scorpio there could be a libra in your life or in your chart in your chart but that does not have to be the case but i like how the justice card comes in to show you what i was saying before don't worry about what other people are doing or saying about you justice will be served let go and let god let god take care of that as long as you have done your due diligence You've done everything to take care of yourself. Um, you have set your own boundaries, okay? Um, this guy here, this card, he's just running away from this group of people here. He may be stealing something, trying to get away with something, okay? Um, but justice will balance things out, okay? So if you have been wronged, um, you're at the end of that cycle, and just, just know that things are going to work out. Um, your peace of mind will be coming back to okay just as long as you've done everything that you know that you need to do okay and be honest with yourself scorpio okay be honest with yourself you'll have less of a struggle if you're honest with yourself okay and if you've made a mistake in the past um that's okay we all make mistakes okay um some people believe that there are no mistakes but we often do things we wish we hadn't and um don't hide from that okay own up to that you don't need to say anything to anyone else necessarily but own up to that to yourself and just tell yourself it's okay i'm human i'm gonna try better next time so we've got the page of fire for the outcome position the page of wands it says enthusiastic optimistic creative impatient news of exciting opportunities allowing your creativity to soar do things that fuel your passions and finish what you start, Scorpio. Really beautiful ending messages here. And this is balanced out by the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So I think you're going to find yourself in a way more grounded position by the end of the week, Scorpio. The be very beginning um, feels like a combination of pain and happiness, like pain moving out but dealing with the residual pain and then happiness coming in, um, better connections coming in, and ending here with uh, maybe getting back to your, your craft, your art, um, like I said, acting or singing maybe, um, you know, taking the stage, and feeling groundedness and balance in that, and maybe even earning money at what you like to do, Scorpio, okay? Earning money at your craft, at your hobby, or something like that. All right, neat messages here, Scorpio. We're going to go over to the Wisdom of Tao, and we've got Walk Away. Let go of burdens and worries. Surrender your ego and walk away. Feel the freedom and enlightenment as you rise above petty matters. Follow your inner quest and luxuriate in well-deserved peace of mind. Okay, this really resonates well with the tarot part of the reading. Okay, really important messages here, Scorpio. Okay, we're going to go over to the Angel Answers Oracle now. So if you have any questions, you can reflect on that now. But you don't have to. Whatever's meant to come out will. 
This is for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio, I, I hope this has helped so far. Please comment below how this reading is resonating and remember to like, share, and subscribe. It would be of great help to my channel and wonderful support to others watching. All right, Scorpio. From the angel answers. Somebody else got this unlikely, okay? So I think that some of you have been worried that someone else is going to get away with doing you wrong and they are unlikely to get away with that, okay? You just need to move on with your life, okay? And we have within the next few months, someone else got this as well. And believe me, these decks are thoroughly shuffled in between every reading. So I think Scorpio, within the next few months, you're going to be feeling even way better than you do now. I think right now it might be hard to believe that the end of something really painful has arrived, but in the next few months, you're going to feel this huge transformation that's going to be in your past. You're going to feel so much better. And I think something that you are creating, something you are currently working on is going to show a lot of progress with in the next few months. All right, nice Scorpio. So we're going to wrap this reading up with the Flower Petals Inspiration Cards. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio. We have Freesia. This will all be worthwhile. Okay, beautiful. This will all be worthwhile. And one more from here for Scorpio. What else for Scorpio? And we have Forget Me Not. Always remain true to your intentions. Very nice. And that reminds me of the Seven of Swords, okay? Always practice integrity, okay? And if others aren't, that's their problem. That's not, not your problem. That's theirs. You just have to watch your own back. Okay, Scorpio, thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again soon.